I believe that Ukrainian victory and uh, uh, liberation of Ukrainian territory, the uh, restoration of Ukrainian territorial sovereignty, which can be achieved only with the full support of the free world, mm -hmm. will lead to the inevitable collapse of Putin's dictatorship. Dictators never survived military defeats and, and uh, geopolitical retreats. And um, I think it will send a message around the world because it's not just the fate of Ukraine. I think it may protect, at least for a while, Taiwan against Chinese aggression. It will definitely send a message to, to Iranian mullahs and all terrorists, dictators and thugs around the world that were waiting for Putin to win the war. But Putin failed? Putin uh, failed to win the war immediately, but it's now, now it's kind of a stalemate. Mm -hmm. Russia still has some advantage because it's, it, it has been, it's had a much bigger army and more firepower. But every day is shifting balance on the battlefield into Ukrainians. Um, favor. There's more and more weapons uh, are arriving from the free world. Ukrainian army is getting stronger. Russian army is being depleted. Uh, but it's still war. It's war. And as we speak, people being killed. And uh, um, Putin, as he did before, all the time, uh, is compensating his failures on the battlefield by vicious and uh, ruthless attacks against civilians. Mm -hmm. And um, Russia still has enough firepower to destroy Ukrainian cities. And uh, after Ukrainian victory, the country will need hundreds of billions of dollars to rebuild it almost from the scratch. His reality it has nothing to do with our reality. It's very simple rule. Why not? If I can grab it, I take it. It's not that he became Putin as we know today, immediately, it took 20 years. 20 years of step-by-step step violating the rules, killing political opponents, attacking neighboring countries, mm -hmm. and having no consequences. So in his reality, will Putin use the nuclear weapon? I don't think so. Um, and um, again, let's, you know, let's remember why Putin has been acting uh, with such arrogance. Because no consequences. Because he believed, and I, I think his entourage also believed, that the, the West, the free world, was weak, indecisive. And unfortunately, they had good reasons to believe. That they could do whatever, at the end of the day, it's about the price to pay. Mm -hmm. if, you could, if, if Putin could succeed buying former German Chancellor, and many other former prime ministers, and former foreign ministers, and captains of business, and uh, uh, famous uh, actors, uh, and he controlled more money than any other individual in, 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 in our history. His latest aggression against Ukraine, mm -hmm. uh, for him was just you know another step on this road, uh, because he crossed so many red lines and, and saw no response or very weak response that, that, that didn't bother him. And he believed, and I, again, I'm afraid he was right, that if he could succeed and take over Kyiv in three, four days, and Zelensky would be on the run, and uh, Putin's puppet would be sitting in, 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 in Kyiv on, on the top of, the, of this new Ukrainian government that would be brought by Russian tanks, the free world would be negotiating with him. Uh, but Ukrainian resistance, heroic resistance of Ukrainian army, and uh, the unity of Ukrainian nation, and outstanding leadership of Volodymyr Zelensky changed everything.